Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this isn't going to help too many people, but if you're a woodworker, and I'm going to have to replace these eight seats for a customer, and they made them out of plywood, I'm going to have to make them out of a real wood and then use a really good finish because they're going to be outdoors. Well, the, they're 12 by 12 inches, but how do you figure out this curvature? Because it could look like this. So I started off with a rectangle. Let me just draw a rectangle. Let's just start over. Just take your rectangle tool, hold down your control button, and then make it 12. And as long as your ratio is locked, you're going to be 12. And then let's say, well, that looks like a two inch radius. So let's go two inches. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. And the reason I decided to make the video, we could use a parallel dimension tool, but how do you know you're in the middle of that edge? Exactly. You don't, but we have 15.31. So this measurement across this angle is uh, 15 and five sixteenths, which is 0.3125. We're really close, but that's if I, had my measurement right. The best way for me to do this would be to take this and rotate it at a 45 degree angle and then look at this measurement. We're at 15.309. So this is 312. This is 09. We can go a little bit better. Let's go 1.98. Now you're going to have to click off and click back on it to get a new measurement. But now we're at 15.325. We're not, we're a little bit above it. So let's go 1.99. Enter. And then you have to click off of it to get a new measurement. There's a three point. And if you wanted to be exact, we could go uh, 999 or something. But this way you're getting a truer measurement than measuring it with the parallel dimension tool. Now this is going to be pretty easy because you can kind of see better when it's this angle, but we're at 1532. Let's run out the one more degree. We're at 15317. And now we are at 15317. So I did it perfect that time, but you're not always bid to do it perfect. So now, and just if you're confused what I'm going to do, I can take this pattern, cut it out on the laser at, um, at a MDF and then put it on a router table and route out this real wood using this quarter inch MDF. But even at that, I would waste a piece of 12 inch MDF. I would maybe even do this. I would even maybe do this and got it set on white field for some reason. Left click, right click. I would cut that out first and then lay it up against my piece of wood just to see if that curvature matches. That's probably not going to help too many people, but it, it maybe you do need to measure something that's at an angle and you just put it at an angle. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank